Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my boxy shame unboxing. I'm still sick, but I'm feeling much better. Haven't really been able to sit down and film because I've had like a really nasty cold. Couldn't get through like three sentences without sneezing, but I'm feeling better this morning. We're here now. I just scared my dogs. They were asleep. And we're gonna open this box that I've already opened and we're gonna try out the products that are inside. It's gonna be a great time, grand old time. I know you're probably thinking, wow, another day without a makeup collection? Where is your makeup collection? And I know I am literally the world's worst YouTuber. You could just call me that. But tomorrow morning I will film that. Oh, you better believe it. I will film my makeup collection tomorrow and that should be up on Wednesday, so keep your eyes peeled. Should be up on Wednesday. So yeah, today's the first time I've brushed my hair in like four days. Literally, and yeah, let's get started. So this is what the box looks like this month. The theme is Makeup on Point. It's like a ballerina themed box. Nice. And then you also get this thing in the box, which is a coupon maybe? Wait, no. Oh yes, oh cool. I hadn't even looked at this. It's a gift card to try out one of those like snack boxes, but this is like a full blown like a meal. You can get a classic box, a veggie box, or a family box. It's from the brand HelloFresh, and the coupon I do not try me weather, okay? I know it's raining, but I gotta get through this. And the gift card is for $40 off, which is an incredible amount. Like, how much is this normally? I might go ahead and use this because that veggie box looks very appealing. That's actually pretty awesome that they included that in the box this month. So the first thing in the box is an eyeshadow palette. I haven't opened it or anything. I just read that it says Pure Cosmetics Buff Collection Eyeshadow Collection. It's an eyeshadow palette. This is from the brand Pure Cosmetics, but not the pure you're probably thinking about. This one is spelled like the word pure. The other one is like P-U-R. Anyway. Ah, ah. Oh, okay, this is, okay. I see what you did there, pure. So I'm assuming this is one of those more affordable brands that try to, you know, mimic or dupe the Urban Decay Naked palette. This is definitely a dupe for, or at least an attempt to dupe the Urban Decay Naked 3. Oh my gosh, this palette is $50. That's expensive. You might as well just get the Naked 3. I think the Naked 3 is like 52. <laughs> you better be really good. I'm just swatching some on the back of my hand. They feel very, very, very soft. They're very pigmented. Oh my gosh, they're like super powdery when you touch them. Like those very soft powders. Here are a few colors swatched. They are very soft, but they are very pigmented at the same time. So let's try them on the eyes. It even comes with a brush. Just like the Naked 3 does. I'm gonna take this mauve shade called Clay and I'm gonna use that in my crease. So I was recently, if you follow me on social media, I was recently in Las Vegas. Oh my gosh, this is one of those fun house mirrors. And the weather was so dry and cold in Vegas. Definitely in comparison to Miami. In Miami it's super humid and super hot. So my skin reacted so crazy to Vegas weather. Oh my gosh, my skin is drier than it's ever been in its entire life. Just imagine that, just imagine that. Today I was putting on, I didn't even put on foundation today because my skin is so dry. So all I did was put on concealer and my face is like cakey if you look really up close. It's like, ooh. I even have very dry patches all over my arms and my hands. I'm gonna have to drench my face in oil. I even got like tremendo wind burn on my lips. I bet some of you are looking at me like, cold in Vegas, really? It's cold for me. Every time I do looks in my BoxyCharm videos, they're not like tutorials, they're not specific looks, they're not anything out of this world. I'm just trying to see the blendability of the eyeshadows and the pigmentation to give you guys my thoughts on that. I'm gonna take this shade right here called Canyon and I'm gonna put that all over my lid. Okay, so definitely a lot of fallout with this eyeshadow. I think the shimmery shades are gonna give you way more fallout. Ah! Because they're so soft, so much gets picked up onto the brush, a lot of it falls off, so you might wanna tap your brush. I'm not extremely impressed with this shimmer shade. I'm gonna take a little bit of sandstone and I'm gonna go right on top of it. This is definitely one of those eyeshadow palettes. You're gonna need MAC Fix Plus or eye drops or like a mixing medium, one of those things to really get the eyeshadows, the shimmer shades to be as pigmented as possible because I'm not super impressed with the shimmer shades, at least the two that I tried. I'm gonna take quartz on my brow bone. 
I'm gonna take this shimmery shade Sahara and I'm gonna put this in my inner corners. Yeah, the shimmery shades are not very good. I'm gonna take Mirage right here, uh, the, la the last color. And I'm just gonna buff that on the outer corners a little bit. This color looks really pretty in the pan, but as you're blending it, it's more like charcoal than anything else. I'm gonna go back into the first shade we used, clay, and I'm gonna run this on my lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on mascara and I will be right back. Okay, so my overall conclusion on this is that it's 100% not worth the $50. That's expensive. That's not worth $50. It definitely isn't the worst palette I've ever used. I will say that I have used other palettes that were difficult to blend. These were not difficult to blend. They weren't exactly difficult to work with, but they're way too soft. The matte shades are all right, but the shimmer shades are just not doing it for me. They just go on kind of like a wash. I mean, I like the look it gave me. It was a very natural, everyday look, but in my opinion, that's really the only thing you can get out of this unless you're using like Fix Plus. So not the biggest fan of this, I have to be honest. At least you didn't pay the $50 for it, right? I mean, okay, moving on. The so next thing in the box is this. This is the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil. This is in the shade Spice. I believe I already have this, let me check. Yes, I do! It's right here. Okay, so I put the eyeliner back in the box because I could give this one to someone since I already have it. But funny thing is that I haven't actually tried this color. I have tried the Makeup Geek eyeliners before, but not this specific color. And I don't know why. It's such a pretty, like, cool tone brown. These eyeliners are really nice. They're very creamy. They're very smooth. If you're someone who has super watery water lines, I don't know if you would like this because it's not waterproof. But they're awesome to, like, really smudge out. They're very, very creamy. So I'm just going to apply some of this. I completely forgot that this was in the box. I shouldn't have put on mascara yet. But I'm just going to pop some of this on my waterline. And then blend it out. Nice, nice. I like that color. Okay, so I actually really, really like this color. I've never tried it before. I like that they added this color because it's still wearable. It's not a blue or a green, but it's not your typical brown. It's more cool toned. I really, really like it. It's almost like a gray brown. This is obviously full size and it retails for $9. Okay, so next thing in the back is this guy right here. Haven't opened it yet, but I know it's a nail polish because I can see through the bubble wrap. So we get a Butter London nail polish in the box this month, which I think is amazing because these nail polishes are like $15, right? 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 Yes, $15. So it's nice because it's like almost the price of the box. And I actually really, really love this color. It's such a beautiful wine. It's called Ruby Murray. Ruby Murray. 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 Murray? Ruby Murray. I hear that Butter London actually updated their formula and that it's really, really good. So I'm so excited to paint my nails with this. I love these like super dark, vampy wine colors for the winter. It's, I, I love it. Oh, I love it. So excited for that. Okay, so next up is this little box. This is the Beauty For Real Lip Revival Exfoliating and Hydrating Lip Scrub. Nice. I have a lip balm on right now, but we are going to try this puppy. This product is full size and it retails for $14. So let's try this. Nice and scrubby, nice and scrubby. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Okay, well, actually, doesn't taste bad. Doesn't taste bad at all. What is this made out of? This tastes familiar. That exfoliated my lips pretty nicely. I mean, most lip exfoliators do. That's what they're meant for. But this one has very, very tiny little scrubbies. It almost feels like a microdermabrasion lip scrub, if that makes sense. They're very, very small. I actually like scrubbies like this more than the ones that are very oily or nourishing and then don't have that much exfoliation to it because it didn't dry out my lips, but it's not, my lips aren't like oily or greasy. Oh, okay, it says raw sugar cane exfoliates your lips while orange, vanilla, and cinnamon, that's what it is. How did I not get that? And cinnamon bark essential oils hydrate and condition for the softest, smoothest, kissable lips. I actually like this scrub. 
a lot. I'm not super impressed by many scrubs. They all do the same thing. But I really, really like this one. Okay, and then the last thing in the box is this little guy right here. This is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Napa Valley. It's like a metallic purple. I actually have this already. Let me grab mine. This is mine. I'm going to put this one back in the box. As I've told you guys like a hundred times, I've kind of been in like a makeup funk. So I haven't even tried this out either. I've tried out Tuscany. This is part of their like new collection, by the way. Ofra came out with like some winter colors. Tuscany is like the best thing that ever happened to me. I love that liquid lipstick so much that I haven't even been able to try the other ones. So let me pop on some Napa Valley. I'm afraid I'm going to be... I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. Okay, so this is the color. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think it's really cool, but I'm not dressed for this lip. Do you know what I mean? With like really simple eyes or actually really vampy eyes and like a really dark cool outfit, I think this lip color would be so cool because it's an intense purple, but it's not like a super fluorescent purple, yet it's still metallic. I think it's a pretty cool liquid lipstick. It's not the most wearable. If you have very deep skin, I think you might like this if you like color, if you like kind of something different. Maybe not for me, but I think it's pretty cool. Okay guys, so that was everything that was in the box this month. I did the math and the overall value for the box this month was $107, which is pretty amazing. BoxyCharm now ships to Canada. So that is cool. I really, really like the lip scrub, surprisingly. Didn't think it was gonna be my favorite, but I, I was super impressed by this lip scrub. I love Ofra liquid lipsticks. They're probably my favorite liquid lipsticks of all time, and you can't go wrong with the Butter London nail polish. So I'm really impressed by these. Oh, and I really like this Makeup Geek Eyeliner. I'm just not into this eyeshadow palette, I gotta be honest. The rest of the box, really good. This was kind of a dud for me, personally. Let me know what you thought about it. Leave it in the comments below. How did you like the BoxyCharm this month? Um, yeah, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And we are going to... And we are going to open the... And we are going to... It's a gift card. But it's not your thing in the box. It does. Haven't opened. Haven't opened.